Ooh, music just started. Hi guys, good morning. How are you? I am currently in the parking lot at Retaish. I just dropped off Luca and I had a meeting this morning at Retaish at 10 and it is 9.42 and I'm a little early. So I thought I would start off the vlog over here. I am nice and cozy. It is pouring rain in Montreal. It's supposed to start snowing eventually. I don't know, man, whatever. I'm doing the garage to garage situation. So I'm just wearing a hoodie. I'm wearing the Gap Yeezy hoodie which kind of annoys me that I bought it because I'm like I'm not supporting his behavior I posted on Instagram that I thought what was happening with um, Kim and Kanye was like it was it was actually scary what was happening that like literally he's like real-time stalking Kim and like she's just like trying to be a good mom and do her thing and like people are like F the Kardashians, why do you give a shit? She's too, like, I'm like, whoa, whoa. Like, you can dislike someone all you want, but like, that's like, that's not safe, you know? So anyways, I'm wearing the hoodie, not out of support, out of, I bought it and it showed up yesterday and it, it's a really cute hoodie. So I'm wearing uh, the hoodie, Levi's jeans, Chanel bag and i'm sitting in the parking lot i did like a mini q a i gave you guys like literally 30 minutes i'm not going to get that many question um but i did a mini q a of what um questions you guys might have for retouch so i'm going to go in now and see if they can answer them and i'm going to go and pull some really great vintage items also why i got you guys here I kind of see how like my bangs that are grown out are like here. I kind of want to do this. What would we think? Blunt, super straight, like this. Just like cut off like this much, just a little bit more. What do we think? Let me know down below. All right, let's go to Retaish. <laughs> just got my coffee. Let's go to work. I'm filming you, Alex. Get ready. Show me what you got. <gasps> oh my God, it's gorgeous. You're when, summer ready. When I ready. first got it on my email, I thought it was a small one. Oh She comes no. in and I see this big bag. I'm like, uh, what? It's they beautiful. It's insane. It's oh my god. Insane. Wait, what do oh, you have in there? Show me, show me, show me the one. good. I oh want my this god, one in my collection. So good. It's beautiful. I love when I come in and there's goodies that nobody's seen yet. DM. DM him. Okay, guys, let me show you my full look before I start working. So here is what I am wearing. This is what the hoodie looks like. It's the like Yeezy Gap chain belt is the chanel second life jewels chanel bag from retaish jeans are levi's and boots are i'll have to check i can't remember so here's the full look now let me show you guys what the store looks like because your girl hasn't been here in like a month there is newness gorgeousness and I mean, like, it's literally all bags. We need to do the Alex hack. Okay, Alex is hacking. Okay. I love when this happens. So I received the, I think it's called the Nano. I saw this on Julia. Yes. I love this. Obsessed. Yeah. But then the same week I got this. And then I was like, I've seen a lot of people buy the um, Hermes uh, necklace and yeah. use it as a chain. So I thought I'd try a DIY with this one. It's not a DIY, Alex. It's a it's an Hermes hack. <laughs> it's an Hermes hack. And then Oh you my wrap god, shut up. A crossbody. Shut up. Try this on. Shut up. Like if this isn't. Oh my god. Oh uh, I know. Alex! And you know the wallet is only 2200 It's it has some wear and tear, but like it doesn't, he, guys. It he's lying. It barely <laughs> has wear and tear. Like, Why is it only twenty two hundred? You though? could see the, like her her yeah, nails, but, but this is fixable. Fix. Yeah, uh, and, and the retail what in is the case it, like Togo? this is forty five. This is Epsom. 
Oh, that's why it's nice and smushy. Okay, yes. show you guys the layout. Uh, this is a good layout. Still has the plastic on the hardware. Doesn't it? Okay, question for you. If you um, leave the plastic on the hardware, this is a thing that I always thought, and I know a lot of people leave it. Yeah. Doesn't it oxidize the metal? Uh, I mean, if you keep it for like 10 years, probably, but if you, if you like rotate your your bags in your closet pretty often and you resell them. Yeah, you're good. You're good. But okay. someone has to take it off eventually. It's actually, going back on the subject, I've gotten vintage bags that still had plastic on and them. And you were fine? And they were fine. Okay, so then yeah. maybe it's a myth of the internet. Maybe it is. It is an internet myth. And someone is asking me for a Saint Laurent brooch if you have one. I sold that. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I this did get one. This is super cute. It was a croc embossed. It was beautiful. Mm, that's just like salt on the wound. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Okay, the goodies though, like I can't. Oh, and when talking about pieces that you'll probably never see again. Oh, I love that. I mean, and this is a two in one. There's another bag in it. What do you mean there's another bag in it? Mm, I can tell you. Oh, stop. Yeah. How much is this? This is, I think, three, three thousand. And guys, when we quote prices, Alex and I, it's always in Canadian. So if you are American, you are winning. That is the collection. That is the collection I was talking about. Yeah, that is yeah. the collection. Wow, I'm a bag nerd. This is gorgeous. So you get both. Oh. <gasps> I love it. Like this is a vibe. It's a vibe. It is definitely, your sneakers are a vibe too, by the way. Thank you, thank you. No, this is a. Okay, so Alex just pulled these out for me. Look how cute these are. So they're lubes, but they're, look at the price. They're shoes. Alex, don't repeat any, don't tell this to anyone. Your shoes are underpriced. Oh, I, I, I know. Like your shoes yeah. are way underpriced. The amount of beautiful shoes I've gotten from you guys that were way underpriced. Yeah. Okay, this is so cute. This little Valentino phone case, but you know me. The smaller, the better, and the hook is movable, right? The hook, oh no, the chain that's dangling is my belt. What? I was like, I thought that, I thought this was like a movable thing, but I'm like, no, it's my belt. <laughs> Never mind. So it's but a- the chain is yeah, but can you do it as a waist belt? Probably, if you wanna try it. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, you totally can. Yeah. You might be able to even double. Okay, I'm not that skinny. Maybe high. High you could. Let's see. Oh my God, you're skinny mini. I'm, I'm like, I'm pretty petite. <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, if I don't eat. <laughs> This is like midday. You're Wait, now out. I'm like on a mission. Try it. Oh my god. Do it. <laughs> we got it. We got it! Okay, but this is super cute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, with like the hoodie? Yeah, this is really cute. So like if you're 65, yeah. Which I think that's what you are. You be be, yeah, I think I'm 65. Yeah, 65. I wear a size 25 in jeans. That I know for a fact. Okay. So you can double it. It looks really good. This looks so cool. It's a vibe. And I can breathe. You can breathe? Off okay, awkwardly, so. but I can breathe. So this is the OG. Yeah, I love that. OG it's cute. Burberry. And I love I feel like a Nokia was going in there. For sure. <laughs> Or maybe like the bitch stick cigarettes. Yes! <laughs> you have menthols in there. I love it. Let's take a peek. So you have a mama baguette. I'm just giving you guys the latest that I haven't seen in a while. So you have a suede mama baguette with the red glitter logo and the gold hardware. That is absolutely gorgeous with the whip stitch, you guys. I did my vintage trends videos. I told you guys that whip stitch was really hot coming back. Go for that as well as Solaria. You know what Solaria is for me. I love a good Solaria leather. We have a peekaboo here. Alex, how much is your peekaboo? Like 17. Oh no, sorry, two. It's two. It's really good. 
Okay, so Mama Baguette in monogram. You have a new Fendi Baguette. This is actually in the leather, silver hardware, and it's like a yellow base. It is in mint condition. Like I'm looking at it for you guys because the lighting is a little rough. You have some beautiful pastels, Givenchy, Fendi, Prada. Oof, we have some Prada over here. Prada backpack, the one I got last week, is right here. It's actually in very good condition here. Oh my God, this baby. Okay, also, their clothes, really well priced, worth coming in. So, let's do this wall here quickly, and then we'll go to answering some of the questions. I'm surprised you didn't see this online, freak out. Oh, it's so pretty. Right, this is the... It's the mini Jackie. Yes. Uh, does it come with a smaller strap, like you can take it off and not put a crossbody? No. Yeah, you can. Oh my god, Alex, you don't Wait, know. what? Alex, Alex, take off this part. <gasps> unhook, unhook, you make it a top handle, baby. I just Excuse schooled me, you. I just schooled you. Are you kidding? No, I'm dead serious. This whole time? Yes. Oh my god. So my mom originally got the Jackie years ago. Yeah, when it first and, came out. And then we figured out, she's like, oh my god, you just take off half the strap. Even and back short, then? Yes. Yes. The original, it's most people didn't keep the long strap because crossbody wasn't a thing back then. Oh! Oh my god, Mel. You're obsessed, right? <laughs> I knew it! Oh my god, you need this. I know I do. I've wanted this bag for a long time. Wow. Isn't this adorable? Did you know this, Mel? Oh no. <laughs> the bag whisperer strikes I'm again. Jammed. I, I got you guys. Oh my god. No, it looks too cute. It's what's up in the small size. Okay, this is officially my favorite bag. I have to flip this over and I need to find a way to get it. This is beautiful. So you know how I said perforated Chanel to watch out for? Metallic gold, light gold perforated Chanel for 5,000. Our favorite girl is here. How are you? This is Julia, guys, if you don't know her. She is the other part of my little duo that I love so much here. Okay, how do you make sure the bags are real? Uh, we use a third party. Okay, cool. So we use a system called Entropy. Uh, we also have experts that have been in the industry for over 10 years. Uh, and I mean, everything goes through the scanner nowadays. So anything that's older than 2015 uh, is done in-house and then we use Entropy. Everything past 2015 is Entropy. Okay, I'd like to consign some bags. Do I just walk into the store or is email better? Uh, email. email, always better? email, yeah. Because uh, what happens is like we curate, so Let's say you drop it off and I'm not here. Yeah, so Alex is your guy, by the way. Alex yes. is the guy who will be doing all of your evaluation, yes. cost outs and everything. He's so I guy. do all the buying and consignment when it comes here to the store. Uh, so if uh, clients bring in their items during the weekend, I'm not here. And um, the only frustrating part for the client is if I don't accept it, they have to come back and you it's know. It's true, yeah, So right. send an email, I'll, I'll let you know what we're accepting and then you could drop them off. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. you know, How do I make matcha. metal look new again? Ooh. You polish it. You polish it with what? I don't, you, like, she's my polishing expert. Over yeah, there. Nadia is actually. Nadia, <laughs> what do you do to polish hardware? Uh, the, uh, toothpaste. Toothpaste, toothpaste, yes. Okay, so she wait. She taught me that the other day. Yeah. She's so like, you use toothpaste, toothpaste and a toothbrush? Which one do you use? Crest? Colgate? Colgate. But how do you block <laughs> it from getting on the leather? Uh, you use a Q-tip and you just take it. Yeah, you oh, have to be very okay. You so just round right. circles around. Exactly. and Yeah, but you, you're careful, right? Yeah, I feel like I would Or just go up. to an expert. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who do you recommend to dye leather bags in Montreal? There is one in Montreal. Um, he's really good. We were just yeah, we were about just it. talking about he's him. He's on actually. Saint Sebastian. His name is Teinture Souriol. 
Okay, I will link them down below. Now go get your matcha. Or, or <laughs> uh, Corinthia. Cor that I go to Corinthia. Corinthia yeah. is my go-to on Saint Antoine. I don't yeah. use Corinthia, but I know a lot of my so, uh, high-end clients use Corinthia. So I, I am that. Corinthia hands down. So if you're Sudwest like I am, Corinthia, it's on Saint Antoine, right by Outer Market. Mm -hmm. They're amazing, and they do the glazing really well on bags. Too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Glazing is really hard. No, no, they nail glazing. Wow, okay. They reglazed the Louis Vuitton agenda for me. You can't even tell they did it. Wow. Yeah. Because I've got glazing done by other people. And it was a mess. No, but the Tainter Sorial just does dye. A okay. Only dye, and I like that. It's like a, yeah, it's their specialty. It's like a surgeon that does a whole body. No, if yeah. I do my face, it's a facial surgeon. If you do your yeah, body, yeah, it's called plastic surgeon. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. It's called a plastic surgeon. <laughs> you know, I just like the specialists. Yeah, so. specialist. Specialist. A specialist in their field. Mm -hmm. Le Much Québécois vient sortir. <laughs> okay, go get your matcha. Thank you. I need my matcha. Do you go. want something? No, oh, I literally have a giant coffee. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna continue showing you guys some fun stuff while they get coffee, and then we'll just move on with the day and the vlog. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but wait, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna buy it, I'm serious. You're selling this for a thousand too? Yeah. Guys, the process that happens behind my impulse. Yeah, the process behind my impulse purchases, I'm taking that. Yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna it's take yours? it right now. Yeah, I, I no, that is way too good of a price. I can double it, right? Yes. Okay. You could. Uh, just be careful, like, One like of the be so stitches. gentle, yes. Yeah, this is yeah, this is a more of a my version of carrying it. It looks like the box bag from It well it looks it has Celine vibes. Mm -hmm. Which you guys know I'm very into Celine. So no, this is so good. No, this is You're taking that? Yeah. Twelve hundred bucks. Come on. I know. It's a steal. This no, it's like $4, such a good price. Four classic flaps. Let me just show you guys what they have because I feel like you guys are always on the market for a good classic flap. If I had not just bought one, I would buy that one right there. There's a mini rectangle in like a burgundy. Yeah, a cherry. It's cherry like a red. cherry. Yeah, it's just, there's no light hitting it. So cherry patent. Then we have this one right here that I just showed you guys that if somebody is on the market for this, it's 5,999 minus 15% off with my code. Please, someone get this back before I do. Then you have this one. I think this, yeah, 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 we'll see you in a bit. Then I have this one here, which is another vintage classic flap. And then you have this one here that is interesting. It's like messenger vibes. You know what I didn't show you guys on here? My new truck. I showed you guys my car. And look, I think the rims are possibly they're really dirty right now but they are possibly my favorite part of the car so i went with 20 inch rims i went with 20 inch rims on the truck so i like i got the suv the mom car but i threw on the cool rims so yeah new car so I just got home, I just parked in the driveway. My mama is gonna come meet me because we're gonna go shoot my look, which is not that interesting, but it's very interesting at the same time. Like it's like a nice cropped hoodie, there's a good chain belt, there's a good handbag, there's like a good shape of jeans. I live right next to the old port, so we're gonna take the five minute drive and go shoot with some pretty buildings. So it'll do some like texture for the picture, so yeah. Oh. Don't film me, I have no makeup on. Did you guys hear that? Don't film her, she has no makeup on. So we are, <laughs> we're gonna go shoot with my mom with no makeup on. All right, so we came to my favorite spot to shoot. I always do this while my mom was literally just saying how it annoys her. We're at Gibby's and I shoot that way sometimes, that brown building or this way or that staircase over there so we're just gonna wait for these people to pass and we're gonna shoot okay so i just switched locations because i like this wall better i'm gonna make my mom just shoot from in the car since it's raining so we're just on saint francois xavier which is right there and we're gonna shoot but we're gonna do some behind the scenes of filming reels so i use this wall here when i need a white wall i usually take off whatever's on the wall because i just need a white wall and i film below this but I feel like I'm gonna test it out with this new frame. I feel like it could look cool. So I put my tripod here, plug my phone on. I do my reels with my phone just because on uh, the reel feature, there's like an align 
app where you can like when you do transition videos it makes everything easier okay so I'm gonna film myself doing behind the scenes which is gonna be a transition video of uh, toboggan so we're gonna do an active wear it's gonna be a pump 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 video and then I'm gonna pop up but I'm gonna do active my ways so we're gonna throw on some heels we're gonna have some gold chains we're gonna have it Melissa we're gonna spiff up the active wear Okay, so I decided to switch up my before outfit and I'm gonna do the theme of the video is gonna be like, you're coming home, you wanna dress down, but you don't wanna dress down basic. So this is gonna be my work look and I'm gonna transition into a really cool sweatsuit outfit. So, look number one, beyond. Beyond. All right, so let's film this. Okay, so I'm gonna do that a second time and then I'll leave the clothes where they are for reference. All right, leaving the clothes here, going to get my accessories. I'm gonna do the flyest version ever of sweats. I'll be right back. All right, so I just finished editing the reel. I will insert it right here so you guys can take a peek. It did really well, the, the transition like ended up really well. I like the song that I picked too, but I'll have to mute it because I'll get copywritten if I don't. So if you guys wanna see what the final actual product looks like with the music and everything, make sure to just go check me out on Instagram. My only problem, it's a little bit dark there, so I think I'm gonna to need to start using, I'm, like I said, I'm doing my office in the loft, so like I'm gonna have soft boxes and everything up there. Um, so yeah, it's a little dark. I guess I'm just gonna to have to deal with it because I was gonna put a ring light, but then ring lights with frames, they do the circle, which there's nothing worse than that. Like I'd rather not have a ring light than have the circle. So yeah, so that is what's going on right now. I am editing, I just did a few emails. I am negotiating a few contracts as we speak. Still in this hoodie, leg up, chilling this afternoon. Well, no, I'm not chilling, I'm working. You know what, you know what I've realized? Because I love what I do for a living, I feel like I'm never working, but I'm really always working. Like I work constantly and a lot. And because I love what I'm doing, I never, ever, ever, I feel lazy. I literally feel like, ugh, I'm never doing anything. Meanwhile, like, look, like I'm filming a vlog while editing a picture, working on the lighting on Lightroom, and I feel like I'm doing nothing. Meanwhile, I just filmed a reel. I am vlogging, and I just had two conference calls this morning, and I went to go do some work at Retouch. So it was clearly a very productive day. Oh, good, Aki, good. Oh my God, je suis trop contente parce qu'il était tellement belle les photos à l'origine que tu avais. Fait que je suis tellement contente que tu peux t'en servir. Ok, good. Parfait, parfait, ça marche. Ok, good. Fait que moi, tiens-moi au courant. Hello guys, so it is what time is it? It's a quarter to nine. So basically, what I do. My main thing with Luca is I want to get her at daycare by nine and I want to pick her up by four every night, which does not give me a lot of time to work. Having Luca was really important to adjust the schedule. Like I really wanted to be the mom who dropped off at nine, the one who picked up at four. I don't know, it's like a weird thing for me that I've always wanted to do. So by doing that, it means that once she's asleep, so she usually falls asleep around 8.30, I usually come back down and I get back to work. So, I'm grabbing all my stuff from the counter and I'm going back to work. I'm gonna work from my bed. I think this is why my bedroom is such an important sanctuary for me. I spend so much time in here. So I just hung my purse because I love this bag and every time I use it, I get like reminded how much I love it. And then I was like, you know what? Let's just look at it a little bit. Like, let me just hang it here and look at it while I work. So I'm gonna go in bed right now and work. Luca falls asleep in my bed and then I carry her into hers, which is why her doll Maggie is here. I have some beautiful flowers. And yeah, that's it. We got our work. We got our TV. We got a pile of laundry that I need to do. 
real of life guys you get it all you get even the laundry pile in my vlogs i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog don't forget to comment and subscribe if you're not already and i don't have anything else to say besides i love you so so much and i'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>